linked up with Earl first. I linked up with Earl around the time he had his car accident. It was a time right after his car accident, nobody heard from him um, for a couple months because he was trying to get back right. So um, when I met Earl, he was beat up, like as far as from the car accident, he was beat up, he was messed up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I seen him in my neighborhood, me and Earl from the same city. So his mama lived about 10 minutes away from me. So wow. I was just driving around. It was like maybe like one o'clock in the morning. I seen him running and uh, I was like, I was in jeans and everything. And I was like, I was in jeans and everything. I seen him running. I was like, I, is this Earl? Like nobody didn't heard from him. Nobody heard from him in like months. Right. Like, Earl. So I'm like, I like, hey bro, like I was, just, I just, I was probably like two years in boxing. So I was like, I was driving around. And I was like, hey, Earl, can I run with you? And he was like, yeah, you can run with me, but I'm, I'm about finished right now. And when I seen him, he was limping and everything. He was still trying to run. He was limping and everything. So I was like, hey, can I run with you? Like, I'm about finished right now. Um, You can run with me tomorrow. I'm like, hey, how am I going to get in touch with you? you know, so I'm a kid. I'm like 17 years old, maybe either. I just turned 17 or I was 16. I was one of them ages. I was like, he was like, man, just get my number. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my idol. So, you know, I'm I'm happy. I'm like, man, I ain't, but I ain't want to show it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to show it. So I'm like, so he like, yeah, get my number. I got his number. And then that whole day I was in school. I'm like, man, I can't wait. I'm going to run with Earl. Like, I'm going to run with Earl. So yeah. I text him, like, around the time he had hit me up, he was like, meet me at the park. So I text him. I was like, hey, we were still running. He was like, yeah, pull up. So I pulled up to the park. I met him at the park, and we ran. And uh, after we got done running, we we chopped it up. We talked and stuff like that. And after that, we ran a couple more times. And then I told him, I was like, man, I want to spoil you. And then I was like, I'm like 17 years old. Like, I'm like 17 years old. I'm like, man, I want to spoil you. He was like, you want to spoil me? I'm like, yeah. He probably was thinking like, yeah, I'm, me you, I'm messed up right now. So you want to spoil me while I'm messed up. But like, I wasn't even really thinking about him being messed up. I was like, nah, when you get back right, when you get back right, I want to spoil you. And uh, I ran one about two more times after that, and then he went ghost on me for like months. I guess he was trying to get back right, get back ready to spar me. I guess, and then uh, a couple months later, he hit me up like, "When we gonna spar with a uh, with a with a shark emoji?" He's like, "When we gonna spar?" And I was like, <laughs> he hit me up like eight o'clock talking about when we gonna spar. I'm like, tonight. He was like eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock at no no no. It was like ten o'clock at night. He was like, "When we gonna spar?" I say tonight. And he was like, nah, we're going to spar that next Monday. It was like Friday. He was, gonna, he was like, we're going to spar Monday. I was like, all right, bitch, send me the ad. I'm there. And then we got the sparring and stuff like that. And that's how we got locked in.